This is the low to high cable row for the upper lats, similar to the cable row for the middle lats. However, the big difference is that we are pulling back at an angle from low to high, and this will bias the upper lats. For the setup, use an adjustable bench as set the incline to almost vertical. This is going to allow us to brace with the opposite forearm, allowing for a lot of stability in the movement. Also make sure that the bench is slightly off center from the cable pulley so that when you are pulling back, that cable is coming straight back and not at an angle. And don't forget to move the bench over when doing the opposite arm. Set the cable height at the very bottom or at a height so that you are pulling back at a 30 to 45 degree angle and achieving around a 9 degree bend between the forearm and the upper arm at the top of the movement. And we're using a D-handle with a neutral grip upon facing towards the center and make sure you maintain this neutral grip through that entire exercise. To initiate the movement, grab the handle and get some tension on the cable and getting into an upright position with the same leg of the working arm down on the ground and that opposite knee on the bench. Slightly drop and bring back the shoulder of that working arm to get a better contraction at the top of the movement as well as get more lengthening of the lats on that eccentric. As you row, lead with the elbow and think like you are driving that elbow diagonally up at the same angle of the cable and not just pulling directly back. And to help feel it more in those lats, one thing that helps is seeing like you are slightly pushing the elbow and pinky down as you are pulling that elbow up. And make sure to keep that arm tight to the torso and get a pause at the top. As you're going down, think like you are still pulling diagonally up and just letting that weight pull you forward. And again, slightly pushing the elbow and pinky down if you struggle feeling it in the lats. Always slow and controlled on that weight down at 2 to 3 seconds on that eccentric, allowing the arm to fully extend and going right back up. Again, leaning with the elbow, thinking like you're driving it diagonally up. Another tip to help it feel it in the lats is as you row and are keeping the shoulder down, think like you are slightly pushing that chest up towards the ceiling and at the top of the movement, think like you are slightly pushing that elbow in towards that rib cage. Keep the shoulder down through that entire movement, avoid shrugging the shoulder as you go up. It is okay to feel it a little bit in those upper traps, but the majority of the tension should be felt in the upper lats around the crease of the armpit. Mistakes you want to avoid are leaning forward as it'll essentially negate the angle we made with the cable, making it a more middle lat movement versus an upper lat movement. Avoid shrugging up the shoulder as you row like this. Remember to lead with the elbow as you row diagonally up, maintaining upright position with the shoulder slightly down and the arm tied to the torso. Thanks for watching. Like this video right now and subscribe so I can keep making tutorial videos just like this one. See ya.